For the sign of Aries, hello and welcome to my channel. And it's with the Wheel of Fortune. Now the Four of Pentacles is about holding on to things, people, money, situations longer than it's healthy. As you can see in the picture, this man, he's on all fours. And he's got his hands and his feet on his money. And if you look at his face, if you can see it, it looks like his eyes are about to pop out of his head and his brain is about to explode so yeah it's showing that you might need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way so this four of pinnacles it's about anxiety and fear could be about money and you and or you could be clinging to whatever makes you feel secure now the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping it it does not bring security it's paired with the will of fortune the will of fortune is a card that reminds us that this too shall pass whether it's good times or bad times it passes if suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world Try to keep your perspective because just like everything else, it passes, it changes. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really out of our control. But even that should be okay. So roll with any changes and just think positive. So basically for the present time, for Pinnacles, Will of Fortune, you could be clinging on to something like I said, that makes you feel secure. Could be a relationship, could be your money, could be a situation, but you're clinging onto it in an unhealthy way. Very unhealthy way. And it's out of fear. But because it's with the will of fortune, uh, it's at, everything's at a turning point. So you're, you're clinging in an unhealthy way now, but the good thing is that we got the will of fortune. It's bringing you good fortune and the will is changing. So you won't be feeling anxious like that for long. The will of fortune is good in this reading for you. So things are transforming, they're changing, and actually you're in a cycle. So I like this for your, um, well, I like this will of fortune for your present time. So like I said, if it's bad times, it's going to pass. Yeah. So, just remember if you, if it comes back, because we do have this wheel, it, it's just constantly turning. If these anxious clinging feelings come, they come back towards you, uh, just try to handle it in a more healthy way. And just realize that um, being anxious does not bring security. But thank God you got the will of fortune. You got some, the will is turning and good fortune is, is coming to set you free. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look at your person, how they see you. Your person sees you as this king of swords and the fool. Now, this king of swords, it stands for a powerful, opinionated, forceful man. He'll often have hair on the darker end of the spectrum, dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. You could be tempted to only think about how things affect you. Especially if this is not referring to a man in your life. So you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act. This card is about a very forceful energy. And you may not be able to get this person to change his mind or to do what you want. So you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts and or expectations, but don't overextend your reach. This King of Swords, it's showing up with the Fool card. Now the Fool card, it's an indicator of newness in one form or another. 
in many ways it indicates purity, open-hearted energy, and innocence of a child. Children are trusting, and trust, it forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is usually a positive card in the tarot, but there could be one thing. It's going to be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do this without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. Now, I say this because if you look at the picture of this card, it's a really cute card. This man, right below where it says they see you, that's the fool card, right below. This man is walking. It looks like he could be hiking, and he's about to just walk off of a cliff. I mean, because he has, right now he has the open-hearted energy of a child. And he just feels free. Like he's going to land on solid ground in a healthy way. But he's, like I said, he's taking a step into the unknown, thinking he's just automatically safe. But it looks like he's about to land into the Atlantic Ocean. So there you have it. And you just be careful where you're going. Because you'll be feeling um, like you like you have the innocence of a child. It's very trusting with this full card. So this is how your person sees you. They see you as this King of Swords and the full card. Now, the King of Swords, like I said, it's about a very forceful energy. Could be pushy, arrogant, narcissistic. And they just, they just see you taking a leap. They see you uh, just jumping right in without any thought whatsoever. Now, we'll get more clarity on these two cards as we read more, but basically that's how they see you. Very trusting and just willing to jump right in. And you're just very forceful. Could be really opinionated in a harsh kind of way. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see your person. You see them like the Page of Swords and the Two of Cups. The Page of Swords, it's a court card. It can sometimes stand for actual person in our lives. If so, it's representing a person who's younger. Because when you hear the word page in the tarot, it's youth, it's a student, somebody younger than you. It indicates that a message is coming in. Somebody wants to reach out or talk to you. In this instant, it's probably not what you're hoping to hear because there's a sword there. So it tells us that someone could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or stepping on the toes of others. So you may need to study the body language of, other, of others and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism. So you're likely to have a great deal of mental and physical energy, and it's about using it wisely. So you see them as bringing conflict to this connection. Now it's with the Two of Cups, which is about romantic partnerships, but it's not its only connotation. It speaks about balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This is a good card to get in a reading. It means that things are going really well, and you should be feeling more than usually loved, more than usually cared for, and very content. So you see them, like I said, as bringing conflict with the Page of Swords, but you also see them as the ideal partner. You see them as a true love, as someone that you would like to marry. A deep partnership. You see them as bringing harmony, union, and a great connection with the, love, with the Two of Cups here. So, let's move on over. Uh, let's take a look at why it's happening. 
it's happening due to the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is about new beginnings, very positive ones. It's in the realm of accomplishments, and it could be related to work, career, or it could go either way, family, romance. If you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are going to get much better very soon. Because if you take a look at this wand, this wand, it's in the clouds, but it just didn't get there. It, it shot up there really fast. It burst into the clouds really fast. So things are going to get much better for you very soon. This card, it, it's about being uh, upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future with a good cause. You're likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive, or you will be very soon. You start to feel that way. This ace tells you that now is a good time to start something new. Now, now this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Due to the ace of wands, some new beginning, some type of new beginning. Yeah, let's clarify this because it's with the Eight of Wands, which is about a lot of things being up in the air. So you may start to feel frustrated, tired, or waiting. This card indicates, indicates that you have to be patient a while longer. You've done all that you can do. Now decisions have to be made by others. So when this card appears, there's really nothing that seems to be moving ahead, but you cannot force it because it's going to backfire on you. It will backfire on you if you try to push it. Uh, speaking metaphorically, sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. And all we can do is put our best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there, so it's all about waiting. So basically, there's some type of new beginning, and with this, that's with the Ace of Wands, but with the Eight of Wands, uh, you're probably feeling ready for a commitment that doesn't seem to be forthcoming. But you cannot push. You cannot push. Distract, your, distract yourself. Yeah, once you distract yourself, your person, they may be back to you before you know it, offering you the love that you've been hoping for on a silver platter. So, Overall, for this reading, for the present time, it shows that you're grasping and clinging in an unhealthy way, Aries. Very unhealthy for you. Could make you sick. But the good thing is that you got the will of fortune on your side. It, it changes for the better. So good fortune is on your side. You won't be feeling that way for long. And then your person, they see you as um, pushy, forceful. Probably arrogant, just overstepping your bounds, and you just you just jump right into things. Just jump right in without thinking. You take a leap. Now you see them as page of swords. Probably um, stepping on your feel like they. You see them as probably. Um, uh, it feels like sometimes they step on your toes. <laughs> and it, you see the way it's kind of immature. Like like I said, the page is about youth, it's student types. They can be immature and they can do things that are annoying, send you messages that you don't want to hear. Um, but it's with the Two of Cups. You, you know that they love you. Two of Cups is about love. You, f you feel it a lot of times. You see them as the ideal partner, even though you think they can be immature. And they bring a lot of conflict with this Page of Swords. Now, why it's happening, there's a new beginning. There's a new beginning trying to happen for this connection. Yeah, very positive ones with this Ace of Wands. It's trying to happen, but it's not going to happen right away. It's up in the air. And you could be tired of waiting. So, for right now, they see you as forceful. You're just going to have to wait. Uh, and probably deal with it if you, if you um, decide to stay with this person. It causes you some anxiety. But the will turns. 
and then you see them as immature but you also see them as the ideal partner and it's this connection is in a cycle the wheel is constantly turning so it looks like one day it's going to turn if you stay with this person long enough it will turn into this ace of wands and you two will have a new beginning okay but for right now it's just up in the air it's not happening fast enough so the good thing about it is that you see them as the ideal partner with a lot of love and but they see you as hmm, being or arrogant forceful and you just take you just take a leap and you just jump right into things so i guess the only thing i really like about this this reading is that the will of fortune it changes when it's something is bad about this connection it usually changes right away and then it looks like it goes back to being um, a bit too much causing anxiety and then it changes again it goes to being really good and um, you see them as an ideal partner so it changes maybe eventually they'll start to see you that way and then some new beginning is just waiting to happen for you guys Aries but you gotta wait for now if you, if you plan to stick with this person you just gotta wait so I hope this resonates. I hope you enjoy the reading, Aries. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. My next reading for you guys, probably in about another four or five days. I'll also put a link below of the extended version of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? Next few weeks. Next few weeks.